Holy Spirit, we bless your name. We thank you for this opportunity, this privilege you've given me to minister to your people. Thank you, O Heavenly Father, for everyone who watches, for everyone who has been saved and transformed through these messages. May I decrease so you increase. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Now, our theme or our topic for exhortation today is dealing with hurt, personal hurt, with personal pain. Hallelujah. Now, our proof text is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 35. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. Hallelujah. Now, people of God, you know, everyone in life has gone through pain or is going through a pain. Sometimes it's pain that you have no control over. And as a believer or as a disciple of Christ, you are limited in the, in the way you want to retaliate because the Holy Spirit will not allow you to do it. People of God, I want to take you to what happened to Jacob in the Bible. You know, Jacob was very, very crafty and he stole the birthright of his brother Esau. But he didn't know that Laban was waiting to repay him. And what Laban took away from him was 14 years. People of God, I want to tell you, whatever hurt is in your heart, bring it and present it to God. In the book of Isaiah tells us to bring forth Present our case and bring forth our strong reasoning. Take it to God in prayer and leave it there. I know it is very difficult to forgive, especially if you are not the one who gave birth to that person, who created the person. Neither are you Jesus Christ or neither are you the person who, neither, the, neither, the person, neither does the person influence you in any way. But remember the Bible says, in this world we will have tribulations and trials. But that you and I should be of good cheer. Because Jesus Christ has overcome. That is why I want to advise everyone. Be careful how you treat people. Be careful. Especially those with the hand of God upon their head. Especially those who have the anointing of God upon them. It is very dangerous. Because that, the angel that guides that anointing, even without the person retaliating or saying anything negative, will begin to fight you. It is written, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Who are the anointed? Anyone who has received Christ and who walks and obeys the principles of Christ. That is the anointed. Who Christ lives in them and they live in Christ. Hallelujah. Be careful how we treat people. Because tomorrow is a mystery. Watch out not to be proud and arrogant. The money you have today, you may not have it tomorrow. And that person which you underlook will be the person to help you. That marriage engagement, that marriage proposal, which you scattered because you felt you had, you know, you could do whatever you want. It is coming back for you. That backstabbing. That conspiracy that you did to another person, it will come back to you. Remember, it is written. Give and it shall be given back to you. Whatever you give to somebody, the wickedness, the measure to which you give, will be given back to you. That is also for evil, not only for giving as in giving alms or giving offering. Be careful. You went around saying this person is that person, this person is that person, breaking people's homes, destroying people's character because you think you are in power, because you think you have money, because you think you have affluence. Well, the Lord Jesus Christ said, touch not my anointed. And in the book of Deuteronomy, you read how Jesus Christ says, vengeance is his. People of God. When Jesus Christ is fighting for you or is avenging, is, 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 is avenging for you, it is sweet. 
it is sweeter than when you take your hand, your brain, your body to do. I have watched people who have done me wrong cry in front of me just so that I can say it's okay and they go. But I never wished evil against the person. It is very detrimental to think that because you are in a position where you could joke with people's emotions, joke with people's hearts, joke with people, take advantage of people, and everything will be okay. Many battles that people are facing today is because of the evil they did yesterday or day before yesterday. Many challenges or afflictions that are upon many people today, even Christians, are because of what they did yesterday and today. Yes, Jesus Christ forgives. Did Jesus Christ not forgive Jacob? But he had to pay the price. It's the same like when a woman gets pregnant out of wedlock. She asks Jesus Christ for forgiveness, but Jesus Christ will not kill the child. So you have to, you know, bear the pain. You have to go through the process. You have to, you have to feel that pain and even triple for what you cost somebody else. Be careful how you treat people. No matter what you do, know that it will come back to you. You are in a position where people are supposed to be promoted. But because of your, because of your evil intentions or because of jealousy and envy, you cannot sign a document to allow them to be promoted. You block and truncate their destinies. How about many pastors who have many servants of God who are anointed over them? But because of jealousy and envy, they never give them a platform. Because of jealousy and envy, they bring up stories, uh, 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 decept deceptive stories, uh, 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 gossip against them. Just to destroy their character and chase them away because they think they will outshine them. What about we have in the world today people who go, who go around destroying people's marriages? You have neighbors in the house which you live with who look for your trouble day and night. How about people who take advantages, take advantage of, 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 of your finances? Who dupe you, who borrow money from you and refuse to pay. It is coming back to them. People of God, whatever you are going through, whatever pain you are going through, take it to God in prayer. And remember, the vengeance from God is very sweet. It is sweeter than honey. It is an experience which you want to sit back and watch because I have watched it several times. I want to encourage you in whatever race which you are going with Christ. Now, if you're not born again, if you're going through a pain that is so bad, somebody whom you love has hurt you, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Wash me with your precious blood. I believe you are the only son of God. You came to this earth, died on the cross of Calvary for my sins and I'm alive again today. Father, take away this pain from me. Take away this scar from me. Take away whatever may have happened to me. Lord Jesus Christ, make me the woman and man you want me to be. You said vengeance is yours, O God. Strike my enemies, O God. Strike my enemies. Vindicate me from this pain. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. What has been your story? Have you been accused falsely? Has your child been killed intentionally or unintentionally? Has your husband or your spouse done something to you that you cannot even forgive have you been cheated on by your spouse have you been lied to by your spouse have you been duped by your children or family members do you feel that the world has opened and swallowed you come to jesus christ and he will give you rest let me tell you i found a friend in jesus in whom i can be myself in whom I can be naked and not be ashamed or shy. In whom I have peace. In whom I can find my way wherever I am lost. And he wipes my tears and strengthens me. People of God, be patient to see your enemies come to an end by the sword of the Holy Ghost. Remember, anybody that walks with Christ, that fears the Lord, that has the hand or finger of God upon their head, that has the anointing of God upon their life, their guiding angels never sleep. Because it is written in the book of Psalms that he who watches over you and I neither sleeps nor slumber. Hallelujah.
Till next time, I'm the voice of revelation and God bless you. Bye-bye.